Hey guys, and welcome back. Just sitting out here on the balcony, having our Cuban coffee. Mmm, yummy, yummy. <laughs> and un tamal cubano for breakfast. Now, this is, this is not typically breakfast out here, but we found this on the street yesterday. And you know, we just were carrying so many things and had so much food, so much everything that we didn't, you know, we couldn't finish eating it. So um, she's having it for breakfast now because she loves breakfast, you know. Um, I'm the weird guy that doesn't, you know, usually have breakfast, but she's having that typical tamal for breakfast. And uh, here, I'll just show you a little bit. It's wrapped in in uh, the corn leaves, but it's just like a corn masa with um, some sort of pork in there, some seasoning, and they mold it into this thing, and then they wrap it in the ba the banana leaves and uh or corn husk leaves yeah, is it, is it yeah 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 yeah. so these are corn husk leaves my 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 bad and then that's it and then they eat these and you know they sell them on the street so <clears throat> not quite sure if um i was able to film yesterday the guy that was selling them but he just sold them out of a bucket and he was just walking around and then that's it you know you ask for the tamales and you get them now this is one of my mom's favorite foods this right here and a lot of cubans love this they even eat it with ketchup uh, i know and all kinds of things but you know, um, she, uh, Christian, you know, since uh, she's Mexican, she loves corn. I mean, you know, so this is like really, she loved it already. She's, uh, she thought it was awesome and uh, that's why she's having it for breakfast. But here, let me just show you a little bit of my view here. So you just wake up and uh, that's it. Right out of the bedroom window, you get to see that. That's the capital all the way over there. I know I've already showed you all this, but you know, this is like 9, 9.30, 9.30 in the morning right now. And everyone's just starting to wake up and do their thing and so are we so are we things were popping to like four in the morning now i know it's not typical out here for four in the morning the things be popping it's usually just uh it's usually just popping till um till 12 one o'clock in the morning two o'clock sometimes some places you know like depending on where you are in la this, uh, pequeña havana you know our la pequeña Havana. i'm sorry in old havana uh, pequeña havana is uh, what we call it in miami our version of this little Havana. Anyways, still, I still need my coffee. I only had a sip of coffee. I need a little more um, to wake up, but it's been great. It's been awesome so far. Now, the whole filming, I've been taking both my cameras and I've been trying to film as much as I can. I really have. I've been trying to, you know, film with this camera, film with my big camera. I'm just filming. So like yesterday, I was trying to put some structure to the filming and trying to see if I can get the whole thing together, but it seems like the best route for me is gonna be to just film, 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 take pictures, film. I can't do both, take pictures and film because it's like one or the other, um, at least for me. It's like, you gotta, you know, you can't like uh, paint and um, fly a plane at the same time. That's, that's how different they are for me. But, you know, to me, I'm just gonna film, 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 take some pictures. She's helping me take some pictures and that's it. We're just enjoying our days. We still got two more full days here. So we're just, we're just getting ready right now. <laughs> you know, I'm um, getting our breakfast, gonna get dressed, get our cameras ready and go do some more walking and enjoy the rest of the, the day that we have here today. Today's Friday, by the way. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait to show you guys the rest of it. And uh, yeah, I hope you join us and I hope you enjoy all this insanity that I'm filming out here. Um, it's fun, I'm telling you. Cuba is definitely very unique. And I have been without internet, without phone for Desde cuando estamos sin teléfono? Since uh, how long? Yeah, since uh, literally we got on the plane. We've been without a phone, we've been without internet, without anything. And uh, we don't miss it, right? Yeah, we don't, we don't even, we really don't miss it. I know it's weird, like no withdrawals, no nothing like that. I, I haven't smoked, I don't miss it either. There's a lot of things, so it's, it's really, really, really interesting. It's like, um, it's hard to explain unless you're here. Like I, I get it now, now that I'm here, and I, everything that always people are trying to explain about Cuba, now we get it, right? Now that we're here, it's like, it's intoxicating. It's, it's, it's amazing just seeing the people, you know, just seeing, you know, just daily life, you know, like that lady right there, you know, just hanging her clothes and hanging her whatever. You know, there's another guy up there. There's another guy up there. There's all kinds of people. There's the tourists, there's the locals. There's all kinds of really, really cool fucking things always happen around right there. They're building, restoring that, that building. You know, there's like a very famous park. You know, right there, some locals giving rides to other locals. This someone on top of me is screaming at the guy in the bikes. They're congratulating them for something. 
So this is really cool. And again, I really I wish I could show you more. Maybe you guys can see better than I can. Because I can't see anything, but yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna finish up here, and uh, we'll catch up with you. We're, we're gonna finish up here, and we're gonna catch up with you guys in a little while. All right. Hmm? Oh, I know, I know. It's gonna get cold. Mm, coffee. Salud, mm. <laughs> Saludos. Yum, 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 yum. Now yeah, look, seems like we got somebody else taking over the job here. Look at her, beautiful. Ooh. Not quite sure what's in there, but. Oh, it's a pharmacy museum. Get into the See if we can go inside the pharmacy museum. Oh wow, it smells really nice in here. Oh mira, los jabones. I use some of these. These actually, they just, they sell these soaps uh, in like Walmart back home. But in here, this is, so they, we're inside the pharmacy museum and in here it smells like every single herb and spice that you can imagine. Now, you know, there's a lot of tea smells, a lot of herbal remedy smells. Look at this, as you guys can see. What I want to hear. Okay. Right. We're gonna do a little bit of a contribution real quick to keep the museum alive. Don't say only that. Aquí también tienen cosas de compra o nada más que no, es un museo. No es el museo. Ah, okay, okay. Eh, de la farmacia se vende medicinas naturales y de acá se venden este, plantas medicinales. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, muchas gracias, muy amable. Cool, cool. This is actually a really awesome museum. So there was no actual fee to get in. It's free to get in, but she just asked for contribution. So you know, in order to keep this thing going, and uh, so we, I gave her a dollar. On my part and a dollar for her and uh yeah things are expensive as hell here usually a museum out here is like around eight to ten dollars and there's a lot so you know we're just trying to keep it on a budget keep trying to keep things budget friendly so that's one thing i will be talking about eventually when i get back home about that you know so let's just look at the stuff and keep my face away from the camera so we can enjoy this together but yeah things are expensive out here in cuba so a two dollar contribution to enter in here is actually really cheap. Remember, I'm on Mexican budget now, okay? I'm not on the USA budget no more. Look how cool. Look at all these uh, cool... Look at this, how big. I, I'm, I'm just imagining what this place was like back in the day. Um, it was 
stuff up there. There's another second floor. There's more things there. Just another area back there, which is obviously not for us. But maybe this is like where the doctors would gather. Oh yeah, see, like drugstore. So this is probably like this should probably used to be a hospital at some point. Oh wow. Oh, the smell over here. Hmm. It smells like a, a lot of uh, teas. A lot of things that I, I I've. Uh, I can't really I don't know what a lot of these smells are, but they're definitely medicinal herbs. And look at all this. No, oh, it's coming from in here. Okay, that makes sense. It's like the storeroom. It smells good. Like, we cannot touch. Don't touch. Let's see, look at this. Hold on. That's interesting as hell. Huh? Look at that. Look at the history. 72 so back in the 70s they were still doing stuff out here oh no man, I, I read it wrong it wasn't 1972 though something else <laughs> Ugh, horrible all right i'm gonna go check out the rest of the museum see look we got christian over there doing we're doing double duty she's out there taking pictures and all that stuff so depending on what she films and and takes pictures of we'll also you know, I'm gonna see if I can add it all together and we're gonna create something nice. Look at this. So, 1910. That was considered the second most important pharmacy in the whole world. Imagine how much older that pharmacy actually is. Got a scale here. Um, I'm guessing I can't use it. That sucks. It says don't use. Oh, my fat ass will break it. Yeah, look at all this. Look at those syringes. So this is like the pharmacy here. This is where they saw the all the stuff. Some of the stuff they saw in Mexico, some of them in the US, some only here. Something is just from here. Look, how much is a toothbrush? A toothbrush is 50 cents. See, that's the thing too, you know, again, people out here they make a dollar a day. They make less than a dollar a day. So that's probably like 25 to 30 dollars a month and everything is priced in u.s prices or euros or whatever so because one cuc one cuc is like one dollar or one euro give or take hold on Well, see, look back there's where they prepare all the stuff, all the homemade remedies. Again, more holistic medicine, more um, natural medicine, and all that good stuff. And I guess you know these things are where they keep. Yeah, yeah, that's where they keep all the all the things, all the herbs and the spices and the ingredients for the medicine. So they make the medicine here. They make pills. They make everything. Interesante, ¿no? Mira, ahí está la farmacia. Quiero ver un momentito. No, she's gonna go check out the pharmacy. I'm gonna go check out this area. But see, look, this is the outside. I don't know if you guys can see the outside or not, but there's a street out there. Look at the scales. Gracias. And see, look, that's another thing too. People, you know. Everyone's wonders, you know, like, oh, is there, is there electricity out here? Are the computers out here? Is there like all that system out here? And not everywhere, but again, this, this is like, uh, there's a bunch of places where I've been to where they have a regular, you know, register, computer system. It's all brought to you by Samsung. Samsung is huge out here. Samsung is a big company out here. 
But again, you know, this is a regular register, regular everything. All right. So, you know, that's like my bajorum, my majorum, or whatever, like I guess like oregano. That's like basil, ginger, um, parsley. Um, I don't know, salvia. Look at that salvia. Interesting. Interesting. And the smell is incredible. It smells beyond amazing. I guess star anise. I guess these are the pri these are the prices here. These are teas. I mean, things are really, really cheap here. Really cheap. Christian wants to purchase some tea, so we're gonna get 20 grams, 20 grams of black tea. Look, everything is still done. I know you already saw this, but everything's still done. Paper was done. I'm gonna put the key. That's it. Hey, muchas gracias, mi amable. Just 50 cents for 20 grams of black tea. Not bad. ¿Cuánto te dio, eh? Mm. How much tea is that? ¿Cuánto te? 20 grams. I know, but uh, quanto, quanto, how many cups of tea? Okay, so a lot of cups of tea for 50 cents. Dude, I'm gonna try some Cuban black tea. Obviously, this came from somewhere else, but still, cool. Let's see what else they got. Mm-hmm. Oh, look. Oh, That's cool. You saw a little school there. Let's see what's over there. Get over here and look at it. It's like a school. <laughs> Um, vamos en... ¿Quieres ver lo que hay? Otra farmacia. Otra farmacia. Oh, es una farmacia ahí. Bueno. Chiquito, 
finally got our first change this is the Cuban peso money so this was six pesos so I don't even know what the equivalent to that would have been so that's peanut butter with peanuts mm. oh. All right. mm. 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 Good. holy shit mom I'm not Tamo bomb I can also not be there She's like, they love peanuts in Mexico too. Damn, just so good that she's like, fuck, I want to buy a bunch more to take home. They were six cents each. I don't know what the hell that is. I got to figure out the math later. They're six pesos each. Probably like 50 cents. Yeah, I'm going to see you coming in the said, Look, right here, there's a guy that sells um, all kinds of fruits and vegetables and all kinds of... Oh, mira, estamos... En la calle Habana y Brasil. ¿Dónde está el señor? Ok, la calle Habana y Brasil. Look at that, we got guayabas, we got aguacate, peppers, green beans, all kinds of bananas, garlic, real garlic. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful spread they got there. And look, another school over there. Yeah, all right, one more. Mm. It's really good. A lot of energy, too. I should have some. It's really, really good. I'm not a peanut kind of guy. Look, there's a school over there. Another school. Might be a... It's like a factory where they sell stuff and they make stuff. There's a furniture store in here. Just walking around. switch cameras I'm not gonna time to switch cameras I'm trying to switch to the professional one all right I'm gonna retire this one for a minute all right we're back to this camera yeah we were filming with the little camera while shorty was uh, taking some pictures so we're actually on our way back to the peanut guy because those peanut stuff were so good I told her you know what we might as well get them now and purchase them now because we might not see that guy again so might as well just get a bunch of them now so that's where we're going all right let me show you some stuff on the way over there all right you know, this guy just barreling through, huh? All good, huh? <laughs> There's a peanut guy over there. Si, estaba tan bueno que queremos 
Ahí está que seis cada uno, entonces. Bueno, entonces, por cuatro por un dólar, ¿no? ¿Qué? ¿Tú, tú, tú, tú tienes ese el... cambio para poder darme cuatro? Cuatro CUC. Pues mm. vamos a coger el. Ah, no, no, está bien, está bien. Está bien. Ya, ya. ya. Eh, vamos a coger cuatro, ¿ok? Por uno. Cuatro. ¿Está bien? Muchas Dale, gracias. Gracias. Están muy buenos. Sí, están, están buenísimos. Acá. Muchas gracias. Damos cariño. Eh, es eh, sí, mexicana y yo de los Estados Unidos, yeah, pero mis padres son cubanos, so ya tú sabes. Yeah, yeah. México, México, yeah. Yucatán. Sí. Yeah. Ya tú sabes. Hey, muchas gracias, muy amable por todo. Gracias. Hasta luego, hasta luego. Happy, happy. <laughs> ok, so ya, yeah, ahora vamos a seguir para allá. Yeah. <coughs> All right, so now we're just going to continue back on the direction we were coming. And uh, we've already passed this guy like four times. This is uh, number four here. Yeah, look at that. I, I promise, next time I'll buy something. Also, if you notice, I'm not sweating as much as I usually sweat. And I've been walking a lot already today because it's just so nice and breezy and chill out here. But all right, less talking, more filming, all right? Like, Here, Patty, eh?